YouTube, Biggs Curse Breakers, what's good? We back with another video, Holding the Frequency of Love. Listen to me. Holding the Frequency of Love, we all know that when you leave with love, you know, you really receive your blessings. But I want you to think about this. When you lead with love, when you hold that frequency, and that's how you operate genuinely, naturally, authentically, you are going to see the blessings unravel. But here's the thing. You are going to invoke and invoke so many demons and other people, so many emotions, so many things that will be mirrored and projected onto you into everything that's in front of them. But why this is important for you, I want you to also just think about the simple fact that even having the ability to love, like the ability to love, you know, to spread kindness, these are ultimate and infinite blessings because it's a simple fact, just like your mind, you have the ability to think, therefore, Use it, be grateful, and watch what you can do. Watch how capable and how much far you can spread out, you know, your work, your purpose, your intentions through that. And I want you to think about it. So when you're holding the frequency of love, what happens? Everything around you blossoms. And whatever is not meant for that love at that moment, you know what happens? You still plant a seed in it. And it might not grow right now. The plant might die just for your seed to be planted in the same exact position. But once it is planted, I promise you, it eventually grows. You know, you kill people with kindness. You know how that goes. Of course, people are going to be hating on you. Of course, people are going to be talking about you. I mean, why wouldn't they, though? You got to think about it. When you walk in the room, everything changes. When you walk in the room, you don't have to say anything and people are looking at you. When you walk in the room, you don't even have to make eye contact with anybody. You got 100 eyes on you. You see what I'm saying? Metaphysically though, just off your energy alone, just off the fact that you know, you consistently work on you, you do the root work, you're authentic, you're transparent, you keep learning about you, you spend your time to yourself, you remain in solitude. You're not spending extra energy and giving it to these energy vampires like you're used to. You learn how to say no. All right, my boy, I'll holler at you. But uh, you know, you learn how to say no. And as you continue to hold that frequency of love for yourself, because you have to know as above and so below, as within and without, you're not going to really be able to love anybody, receive the true love that you desire and require until you can give that to yourself because everything starts within. And think about what social media has done. We as people, and I was once a victim of this because we did not know any better. We have been conditioned through society now in this day and age of the simple fact that we shouldn't hold the frequency of love that, you know, we shouldn't forgive. We let Instagram, Facebook, social media, all these things teach us not to forgive, not to feel our emotions, not to understand what we're really going through, not to sit there and like just feel and let it soak in and press in and really embrace it. Because one, you know how it is, once you embrace somebody, it's all out there. Ain't nothing but energy flowing. We can't even embrace the truth about how we feel though, you know, cause we're letting social media be our internal moral compass instead of our true feelings, instead of our intuition, instead of our God-given divine superpowers that we have, we're letting just Instagram and social media really tell us, oh, we shouldn't forgive this person. Oh, we shouldn't love this person. Oh yeah, this person did it to me once. It'll never happen again because I can't let that person back in. Yes, I understand boundaries, but you have to understand if you can't forgive someone, then how on earth can you forgive you? Because it starts within. So if you really can't forgive someone, then how are you going to grow? Because you obviously can't forgive yourself. I've been in multiple situations where I've done something to hurt somebody. The same thing happens to me, you know, it's my karma. And I have to sit there and be like, okay, hey, this is your karma. You deserve this. How can you move forward? How can you move forward? How can you feel this? How can you understand what's going on and understand that I don't identify in this phase, in this feeling I'm having right now. And I move forward, I hold the frequency of love, I accept it, I understand for what it is, you know, I evaluate it, I understand what's my thoughts, what's not, what's my feelings, and what's real and what's not, and I let it go, I let it flow. All with love, I appreciate, I show gratitude because I know I'm gonna learn something, but that's how I approach everything, that's my mindset, that's where you gotta be at though. That's the only way to truly be successful on your journey, because it's gonna be obstacle, 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 and you gotta hold that frequency of love, it's gonna be hater, hater, hater. It's going to be naysayer, 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 negativity, negativity, negativity. You have to hold the frequency of love every time. 
And it's gonna be harder. Sometimes it's not gonna be, you know, you're 100%, but if you give 100 every time and you give that to yourself, I promise you, there's not nothing that can stop you. Nothing that can beat you. And you know that because it already tells you that any weapon form shall not prosper. But I need you to understand that as the weapon is forming, if you hold the frequency of love, you are able to disintegrate it before it's even fully formed. Because love is that powerful. Because you operate out of love, because that's where your, all your energy sits at in your body. It's powerful. Love is powerful. It's transformative. And if you use that for the greater good, for your ability, for the collective, imagine what wonders you can do. And you've seen it. You've seen the work. I see the work. You see the work of my videos. You see the work of the things you do. And I know you do these things or you're trying to because you're watching me right now and listening. And I just want you to think about it, though. Holding that frequency sets you so apart from anyone else that only those who have true eyes open, you know, the I am's, they will only be able to see you for who you are. And you're going to start to notice that and notice that. But you need to know it. The simple fact that those who are blinded shall not be able to see you for who you really are. And sometimes that may be by choice, though. You see what I'm saying? You're holding that frequency. Some people just don't want to see it for what you really are because they can't fathom the fact that it's not them and they can't get there. And the thing about it is with you, though, the more you hold that frequency of love, you're still going to show them the way. And you don't have to show them word for word the exact blueprint, but you show them by example. You stay positive. You stay in tune with yourself. You stay committed to you and your journey. You don't let nobody throw you off track. You don't let nobody get any extra emotion out of you. You hold that frequency of love. You smile. You keep going. You kill everybody with your pearly white teeth. And even if you ain't got the pearly white teeth, you kill everybody because you're willing to still smile through some bullshit. You see what I'm saying? Hold the frequency of love, though. The more you can just hold on to this frequency of that love, you're really able to set yourself free. And, you know, my whole channel, everything I post about is, you know, setting yourself free from mental and emotional incarceration. And it's super hard to love yourself. But the question of the day I just want you to think about is, OK, if I'm holding my frequency of love. And if I still haven't forgave this person for what they've done, then I must not have forgiven myself because everything starts within. So how can I fix that? And, you know, honestly, you got to sit in your mess. You really have to understand and just accept the things that have happened. And when these situations pop back up into your life and the roles will reverse, you got to accept it. You got to be willing to handle it. It sucks. It's not hard. Or excuse me, it is hard. It's not easy. But, you know, the more you hold that frequency of love and you give it to yourself, I promise you, you will really grant yourself unlimited grace and you'll be able to flourish. Chase your purpose, your destiny yourself your journal your own your journey your own personal legend you'll be able to flourish without feeling that guilt that weight that heavy pressure of things from the past hold that frequency of love and never let it go no matter what you may face